what's going on everybody we are back and we are here another episode of speed testing we are here on i-10 and west best line road in tempe arizona by that air across the street from the arizona mills mall at the circle k all right so let's start off with verizon on the iphone 12 pro max 12 pink 6.3 jitter We are seeing some good performance here on Verizon DSS. We're looking at 132 down. With 42.8 on the upload. Now let's go over to AT&T Business Elite. Okay, 33 ping, 11 jitter. And like usual, the AT&T likes to shine on their LTE performance. 116 down. by 37.1 on the upload. All right, now let's do T-Mobile. Turn the code real quick. Oh, all right. 22 ping, 5.3 jitter. Okay, we're looking at 96 down. With 49 on the upload. All right, now let's test the Android variants. Love ping for jitter. Hundred ninety seven down. By fifty five point eight on the upload, and let's see if we can pull here the. Okay, so it's fifteen ten 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 with band sixty six being at fifteen megahertz, and then with NR. All right, so let's do AT and T. Okay, we're looking at a 24 ping 3 jitter. Okay, we're looking at 131 down. By 20.4 on the upload. Okay, we're looking at band 66, 10 megahertz. All right, let's run this speed test again. Make sure we get all the bands. Okay, well, band 12, 10 megahertz. Band 66, 10, so that's 20, 30, 40. 40 megahertz of spectrum. Okay, now let's go over to T-Mobile. Okay, we're looking at 22 ping 5 jitter. Spectrum. Let this test run again. Band 66, 20, 15, and 71. So that's 35, 50 megahertz. Band 215. 
All right, guys, we're gonna go to another site and we'll be right back. All right, guys, and we're back. Now we are speed testing here at the corner of uh, Mojave and 11th Avenue here in the Phoenix area. Yes, we have police here. We have Phoenix PD and we have the Phoenix Mobile Command Center. So this is what a great time right here. Unfortunately, whatever happened in this residence, God bless them and hopefully, you know, whatever happened, it wasn't too critical. And if it was, God rest their soul. But other than that, let's start speed testing because none of our business will happen. So we're gonna speed test all the networks, guys. And we do have also, we're gonna start off with our first contender and it's gonna be FirstNet. Since this is a first responder situation, what not a better way to start this than to actually speed test first net all right so here we go we're gonna start the test now we got a 49 ping 9.7 jitter look at those speeds for these first responders right here for these for these ladies and gentlemen right here 248 on the down and 15.2 on the upload. Now let's compare this to AT&T QCI 6 Business Elite. All right. Okay, 30 ping, 5.2 jitter. Oh wow, so business is a little bit faster right now. Okay, 308 down. On a, and 14.4 on the upload. But just to show you, maybe the reason why we're seeing a little bit of slowdown on FirstNet could be because we do got these fine people here, you know, working this crime scene right here. So, all right, let's test out Verizon and let's t test out T-Mobile in this critical situation. Like the moose would say, this is very critical. So Verizon, we got on DSS, we got 28 ping, 45 jitter. And I think in this little section, maybe they might be using Verizon a lot because the way it's looking. Okay, we're looking at 13.2 on the down. And we're looking at 10.9 on the upload. All right, so that's from Verizon. All right, now we're gonna test uh, T-Mobile. Okay, on low band 5G. And I'm sorry, I do not have the Androids with me because I wanted to catch this scene right here. 24 ping, 16 jitter. And this is on the T-Mobile One plan. Okay, 26.4 down. And 14 on the upload, guys. All right, so let me go up to the next scene, guys, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, and we're back. We're down here in downtown Phoenix on uh, Washington and I don't know. Here, let's look at a map real quick. Washington and, and First Street, South First. All right, we got some Verizon Ultra Wideband. Let's get this testing out of the way. And of course, like Verizon always 5 ping and 2 jitter. And just something about the ultra wideband out here, it's just, it works good at times and then sometimes it doesn't, it's weird. 1474 down. Must be that Cox backhaul, you know? That's Cox for you. And then 45.7 on the upload. And then let me get out the Ultra right here. We'll do the Android variant. Let's 
six being one jitter. And of course, it's where you face these phones. Now the Android is getting. Nineteen forty three down. And sixty two point four on the up. Now let's see if we put it right here next bone to bone. Five ping to jitter. And there you go. The iPhone is literally smoking it next next to each other. Uh, 2545 down. And 66.6 .6 on the upload. So that's to show you apples to apples right here. So the, while the Android got 1943 by 62.4, the iPhone got 2545 by 66.6, .6, and it had better ping on the iPhone. All right. Now let's go to AT&T, the original GOAT. You know, since now we got somebody else trying to claim the GOAT title with their commercial. But you know, I say how it is, guys. They are the Billy GOAT with the huff that's tucked under these handicaps, the handicap Billy GOAT. 150 down. Thirty-six point one on the upload. Now let's do Android. Okay, we got twenty-five ping for jitter, and this is the time where the Android shines. It seems like it does better on LTE. One hundred seventy-three down. by 36.7 on the upload. And now let's do T-Mobile. All right, so let's see here. Boom. 26 ping, what is that 6.8 jitter? Fifty-eight point six down. Look at that. Kind of looks like a little symmetrical type thing, right? 62.3 on the upload, guys. And then we're going to get on the Android. But I found here on the corner of Washington at first, there's, even though there's no non standalone N41, but if you force the phone to standalone 41, you do pick it up right here. 60 megahertz of N41. So let's uh, pull out the speed test to see what it does. All right, nine ping, 13 jitter. And yes, it's, it's being held out here with a mirror because here's where it gets reception. And then we don't have the glass interfering because if we put it here, the speeds will like go lost in half. Unfortunately, it's true. 97.4 down. Then I'll show you guys right now with the glass thing, because wherever they have the node, it's not propagating right or something. I don't know. And then 3.85 on the upload. And then here we go. We'll put it right here. We'll have every other phone. See 10 pink by jitter. Oh. And now it decides to get faster for y'all. Okay. Well, there you go. Oh, never mind. Eighty-eight point seven down. by 3.77 on 
on the upload and then i want to show you guys real quick before we, we go i'll show you the bandwidth on at&t because i actually forgot to do that so let's do the code here and we're looking at band 220 megahertz band 6610 and band 6610 so that's 40 and then band 1210 that's 50 50 megahertz of spectrum gets you these speeds all right then guys this concludes the video right here i'll probably make a few more while i'm out here thank you for tuning in to speed testing with los and we'll catch you in the next one peace